What is going on guys, your boy Joey Shake 72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So some news from Jeremy Fowler, a little bit of a Zach Ertz update from the other day. I wasn't able to cover this the other day, uh, but it looks like from quote unquote that tight end Zach Ertz badly wants out of Philadelphia. Eagles continue to look for a trade partner and one is expected uh, to happen sometime this summer. Now, I don't know how the contract does go. Like, what if he what if he is still on the roster technically and training camp is here and he still isn't traded yet? Then I don't know if he loses money. I mean, obviously, training camp is mandatory, so he does lose money. So I'm expecting a trade uh, really before the end of July, really before training camp starts. So that's what I'm kind of thinking right now. But when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles and what they want to do, and obviously when you trade when you trade Zach Ertz, you get eight and a half million in cash space. If you release, straight up release him, you only get four and a half million. So it looks like the Eagles are doing their due diligence and doing anything they possibly can to get a trade done. And here's some speculation: of What do I think? If they end up getting more than a six round pick for Zach Ertz, if they get like a fifth or a fourth, I'll be surprised if they could yank a pick like that for how late this trade is from a team right now. But like I said a million times going over the Zach Ertz news and what I want, I don't even care, guys, if they give us nothing for him. I don't even care if they get a seventh-round pick for 2025 at this point, a few years down the road. That's how ridiculous th this is getting. Okay, the Eagles obviously want to trade him. They're not going to release him. And if they do, then, you know... If this trade, supposed trade, doesn't work out, we don't know what team it's going to be. Is it the Buffalo Bills, Tennessee Titans, 49ers, Arizona Cardinals? I mean, I'm not uh, 49ers, Arizona Cardinals. Um, I mean, really, I mean, there's, you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, there's a bunch of teams out there, and I've pretty much gone over every, like, realistic team that, you know, Zach Ertz could possibly go to. You know, if it's a seventh-round pick, I just want this trade to get done because I want the $8.5 million in cap back um, obviously, Land Dickerson is not signed yet. Um, if this video comes out and he does get signed, then it is what it is. But, um, you know, I don't want this to be the move that's going to put us in the direction to sign another player. And I, th with this move, I feel like it's going to help us uh, sign another player, whether it's a cornerback or, you know, I don't know what they're doing. But, you know, they're stretching this out. I mean, for me, the, I think the Zach Ertz trade, I think his value is totally diminished. I just think there's, it's not even there anymore. You know, last year there was trade speculation during the, before the trade deadline about Green Bay and Baltimore, you know, kind of rumors of, of Zach Ertz getting traded to those two spots. And obviously um, Ertz was on IR at the time and you couldn't trade, uh, you know, a player on IR, obviously. So... <laughs> I asked this a million times from you guys. What do you guys think um, the Eagles are going to do here? I mean, it sounds like from Jeremy Fowler that there is a trade partner looming as of right now, but obviously nothing's set. Uh, and, you know, nothing's really set. Nothing is, you know, really promising. Uh, but if there is, and the Eagles are promising to trade Zach Ertz before, you know, whether it's before. I mean, I, I think it's really before training camp. I mean, this goes on for another, like, three four weeks it's kind of ridiculous at this point you know what i mean so um, i'm hoping in the next week or like at least the next couple weeks i mean that's just pushing it that something does get done i want that eight and a half in cap space and look if this doesn't happen we just straight up release zach Ertz, we get four and a half million back and we just move on and you know you have dallas goddard to be that number one tight end you know richard rogers got signed i think that was the icing on the cake for some eagles fans that thought zach Ertz was coming back here um, but I don't think, obviously, with that move, um, whether Nick Sirianni is using double tight ends or d double tight end sets, 12 personnel, whatever he's doing, I have no idea up to this point. But um, that Richard so Rich Richard Rodgers signing kind of told the whole tale of everything going on. If Richard Rodgers wasn't signed, I probably would think maybe they're trying to talk with him to maybe work something out. But, but now I think that's totally squashed, and I think um, – yeah, Zach Ertz is definitely going to be gone. So I want to know in the comment section below for the millionth time, since it's the millionth Zach Ertz video we've made so far, um, what do you guys think? Where do you think he's going to go? And how much do you think the compensation is going to be? It's going to be really interesting, but we will figure it out and we will see. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys later. Shake squad up, follows five. Peace out, guys.
Peace.